This is InfoLive TV headline news. I'm Margot Dudkevich. The UN Security Council unanimously passed a resolution Saturday that once again orders Iran to halt nuclear enrichment work but fails to impose any of the new sanctions demanded by Washington and its allies. The five permanent members of the Security Council reached an agreement on the text Friday that calls on Iran to comply fully without delay. The United States Army's European Command have deployed a 120-member support team to man the early warning radar system to be installed in the Negev, marking the first step towards the deployment of a permanent presence of U.S. forces in Israel. At the end of August, InfoLive TV informed its viewers regarding the system to be introduced to combat the Iranian missiles. Kadima Chair Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni met with Transport Minister Shaul Mufaz Friday, the first time they met since the Kadima primaries a week ago. Livni told Mufaz she hopes he will be part of her government and is believed to have offered Mufaz the role of Foreign Minister and Deputy Prime Minister. Officials close to Mufaz said they believe he will accept Livni's suggestion or may take the finance portfolio. The entire land of Palestine is holy and belongs solely to the Arabs, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah said in a speech delivered Friday in honor of Al-Quds Day. Palestine from the sea to the river is the property of Arabs and Palestinians, he declared, adding the only way to liberate the land is through will, determination, resistance and sacrifice. Israel is not only the enemy of the Palestinian people but also of Lebanon and the Arab world, he said. A car packed with 200 kilograms of explosives blew up in Damascus Saturday morning, killing 17 and wounding 14. Syrian Foreign Minister Walid Walam accused Israel of being behind the blast. However, the Syrian Reform Party reported that the blast occurred after a car pulled out of a car depot belonging to the Syrian intelligence, suggesting it could have been a work accident.